Texas Coffee of the Morning, the show where we strive and you matter. I'm Hera, and welcome to our spooky edition of Coffee of the Morning. We begin our show with the loss of a Lexington and Kentucky broadcasting icon. That Lexington and Kentucky's first female anchor, Sue Wiley, died Tuesday evening at the age of 90. Wiley worked for Alexa King from 1968 until 1998. After her career there, she went to radio sh where she worked at WVLK, hosting her own show. Wiley was inducted into the Kentucky Journalism Hall of Fame. Wiley was involved in a crash involving five cars on the alumni in Chenille A Road. There, three people transported after the crash, and one was later pronounced dead at the hospital, who of which was Miss Wiley. We send our condolences to the Wiley family and the loss of a broadcasting icon. And just like that, it's winter. Welcome one and all to the part of the show where we bring out our main man and Douglas Hendry. First, <coughs> excuse me, happy Halloween and make sure you get so much candy because hmm, it's going to be spooky. A spooky night, very spooky night. Don't eat too much candy. You'll get sick. You'll have to go get some Pepto-Bismol. That was me a few years ago, eating too much, and I got had to drink Pepto all week. All right, let's get some weather. Thursday, it's going to be like 47 degrees because we had a very cold temperature, then we got a freeze warning in effect until And Friday, it's going to be like 55 degrees and partly sunny. And this, this Friday, which is my favorite day to be doing nothing, <laughs> but this Friday is going to be like 59 degrees and mostly sunny. Mostly sunny, mostly sunny. And this Saturday, which is like I like to be a bum. And this Saturday is going to be the in the 60s, the high 60s. 69, 65 degrees. Make sure you go get some pizza before it's all gone. This Sunday is going to be like in the 65 again, partly sunny. So check it out. Oh, and by the way, go home now. Now it's time to welcome you to... Hot block. Well, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Pop Blocks. I'm Brady. Where'd FNAF go? The part of the show where we get into pop culture, like new movie releases, game releases, and TV shows. We have been uploading these new shows and other projects on YouTube. Soon, we will launch a website where you can watch our news listen to the podcast and comment on them, including images made by people in our class. So look for that coming soon. We love to hear from you and <laughs> we would love to hear from you what we would like to see what you would like to see next in our show. The Marvel is the newest film in the MCU and it follows three superheroes with entangled light based powers. The ultimate goal is stopping the big bad villain, Dar Ben. Will the three be able to use their swapping for good, or will they fail and risk the world being destroyed? Find out only in theaters November 10th. People have been begging for Hollywood to make an original big-budget sci-fi film, but when they do, like with the creator, no one went to see it. And it proves hypocrisies of cinephiles and the general audience. A film everyone has been asking for, but no one really came out to support it. Does nothing but does nothing but prove these studios that make the most easy way to make money is off of IP projects like recently with Barbie. But not for all things, it's growing up in ticket sales compared to the movies like The Creator. The movie came out on Peacock for free the same day, and it is still climbing in the box office. We leave you with some leaky wisdom. Studies have shown that there's a connection with breathing oxygen and living. So breathe more oxygen, people, because I know, like most of you, you like to breathe air. Wait, I mean, breathe bare. You've been watching Talk in the Morning. This is Harris, Brady Fazbear, signing off.